Vatican City is in fact a state, the smallest principality in the world. It lies on the banks of the Tiber, completely surrounded by the city of Rome. Its status as a separate state emerged from the Lateran Agreements of February 1929. It has its own newspaper, postal service, radio and television station, its own flag, and a population of about 1,000. The Vatican also has its own army of Swiss guards, and it even has its own prison. Gracing the walls of St. Peter's Basilica is the Vatican-approved image of God, an angry bearded man in the sky painted by Michelangelo. Sinners who disobey God's list of thou shalt nots risk incurring his wrath and damnation and burning in Satan's eternal hellfire. Cruel and violent images of God's tortured son suffering, bleeding, and dying with thorns gouged through his skull and nails pounded through his feet and hands are on display throughout the Vatican. These images serve as reminders that God allowed his son to be tortured and killed to save the souls of human beings who are all born sinners. These explanations and scary images are especially difficult for children to comprehend. The Vatican rules over approximately 2 billion of the world's 6.1 billion people. The colossal wealth of the Vatican includes enormous investments with the Rothschilds in Britain, France, and the USA, and with giant oil and weapons corporations like Shell and General Electric. The Vatican solid gold bullion worth billions is stored with the Rothschild-controlled Bank of England and the U.S. Federal Reserve Bank. The Catholic Church is the biggest financial power, wealth accumulator, and property owner in existence, possessing more material wealth than any bank, corporation, giant trust, or government anywhere on the globe. The Pope, who is the visible ruler of this colossal global wealth, is one of the richest men on earth. While two-thirds of the world earns less than two dollars a day, and one-fifth of the world is underfed or starving to death, the Vatican hoards the world's wealth, profits from it on the stock market, and at the same time preaches about giving. How did the Pope and Vatican accumulate all that wealth over the millennium? One method was to put a price tag on sin. Many bishops and popes actively marketed guilt, sin, and fear for profit by selling indulgences. Worshippers were encouraged to prepay for sins they hadn't yet committed and get pardoned ahead of time. Those who didn't pay up risked eternal damnation in Satan's oven. Pope Leo X rebuilt St. Peter's Basilica, selling tickets out of hell and tickets to heaven. During the Dark Ages, the Catholic Church not only hoarded the wealth they collected from the poor, but hoarded knowledge. They kept the masses ignorant and in the dark by denying them a basic education. <laughs>